So. Okay, Gary, and welcome back again to the anchor desk here. And uh, it's just tremendous to watch the aircraft here. A lot of history also here at Willow Run. It all began back uh, just before World War II with the beginning of the B-24 bomber at the beginning of World War II, a fantastic flying machine. And Gary Basner has a look back at that tremendous piece of aviation equipment. December 7, 1941, a date which will live in infamy. The United States of America was suddenly and deliberately attacked by naval and air forces of the Empire of Japan. Just as the Japanese were bombing Pearl Harbor, here near Ypsilanti, Michigan, the Ford Motor Company was putting the finishing touches on their new B-24 bomber plant at Willow Run. This is the B-24 Liberator bomber, a plane vital to the United States during World War II. When Henry Ford was given the contract to build the bomber, he decided to use the same successful assembly line method he used to build cars. That is, the planes were assembled as they slowly rolled through this gigantic plant, which was nearly a mile long. Workers came from all over the country, and at its peak, the Willow Run bomber plant employed 42,000 people, with 20,000 working on each shift. Since most eligible men were in the armed forces, thousands of women worked on the line, and they were soon given the nickname of Rosie the River. Many of the one and a quarter million parts that went into these planes had to be installed in some extremely small areas, so it was not an uncommon sight to see many midget and dwarf employees who could easily fit into these cramped spaces. Once the B-24 rolled off the line, they had to be tested before flying out for duty. Among the Ford pilots who flew these planes for the first time was Charles Lindbergh, who also developed ways to make the B-24 fly safer at higher altitudes. As the planes flew near the plant, it was not unusual to see dummy bombs falling from the sky. And many interesting rumors have circulated about this plant. One is that since it was located on the county line, Henry Ford had the planes make a hard turn just as they emerged outside the plant so that he wouldn't have to pay a property tax that existed at that time. Also, legend has it that Henry Ford spent many hours in a house just outside the plant property so that he could personally see the planes as they rolled off the line. The story of Willow Run is truly an incredible one. In three and a half years, they turned out 8,685 bombers. And at its peak, they were delivering one new plane every 55 minutes. Willow Run quickly became the most visible symbol of America's industrial might. And cheerleaders ranging from President Roosevelt to World War I flying ace Eddie Reckenbacher came to pay homage at the factory gates. Today, this gigantic structure still stands as the GM hydromatic plant. And if you look closely, you'll still find reminders of the miracle of Willow Run.